Some people say that a software is only as powerful as the tools which it provides. In this example, you're going to see some samples of some ridiculously powerful tools. And here I'm talking about some standard processes and components. For example, you can see while we've roughed in our design, there's no fasteners or anything holding this uh, project together. Here you see some examples of the various tools we supply. Let's take a look at what it takes to apply a molding. Here we select the reference face and the edge. You can choose the type of molding that you want to put in. You can even use uh, simple ones. And you can even define your own tools for this. And the online help will even tell you how to define this type of tool. Cool. OK. So let's choose our tool, say OK. Like that, the molding has been applied. Next, let's do a tenon and mortise. We're going to select our reference face, locate it there. You can see you have a bunch of different ones you can choose from. You can even define your own. We'll say OK, OK. Like that, top solid wood does the heavy lifting for you. And there you can see the results. Perfect. How about we apply it on the other side as well? So again, choose the reference face where we want to position off of. We'll say OK and OK. And again, the work's done for you. Pretty easy. Next, let's launch our component wizard. We want to apply a component to all of these items, plus these two boards. What kind of component? I think, how about a dowel? Say OK. Choose our reference face. We'll turn off the realistic rendering for a second. And like that, you get a preview of everything. And you can flip where it's going. But you can see it's automatically applying the components properly. Let's maybe have a closer look at that. There's all the dowel pins it put in in one click. Yes, it's actually that simple. Don't believe me? Let's have another example. Let's run that component wizard one more time. And this time, let's, put, uh, let's work on the supports. And how about we add a screw? Our reference face, like that. The screws have all been added. And more importantly, all the processes are applied to the drillings that will be required. There you can see the drillings. I mean, how cool is this? Let's maybe have another sample. Let's turn those boards back on. Let's run our component wizard again. And this time, we'll just manually select what we want to modify. So we'll grab those boards. And this time, let's put a dowel cam in. Choose a reference face again. Say inside the faces. And here you see a preview of everything. If we zoom up, you can see you can click on the arrow to invert the side that the dowel cam goes into. Very cool. Validate, and we're done. If you think about it, we've just done a lot of work in a very short time on a nice three-dimensional model. There's all those components. Now, let's show you what happens when we make a design change. Watch how smart this is. Here, we're going to go and modify the depth of our little bar. And notice it added a third dowel cam there. It was smart enough to know to do that, even. Change it back. And we're back to two. Very awesome. So here we'll turn on all the components of our design again. And just for fun, let's make another change. We'll modify D again. We'll make it deeper again, just to show you the speed at which everything updates. Hopefully you're getting the idea that with top solid wood, you too can master your manufacturing process.